woman alone walks the street. A shrouded figure approaches her. The attacker chokes her unconscious, then pulls out a 12-inch blade. Minutes later, she is discovered, her throat slashed. Her lifeless body still warm to the touch. This is the work of Jack the Ripper. But who was this murderer? Lurking in the shadows, Identity hidden, Jack the Ripper killed repeatedly, but always managed to elude capture. The world's most notorious serial killer stalked London streets for three months in the late 1800s, killing at least five women and as many as 11. The murderer claimed their inner organs as trophies the police would almost certainly have been looking for somebody with anatomical knowledge and surgical skill. The skills would have been necessary for the murderer to have worked in the dark and removed those organs. The slayings caused hysteria in England and around the world. It was the first internationally known serial killer with the sensational name Jack the Ripper, so it's no surprise that it took off. Yet the Ripper was never found. The killer simply disappeared. Now Mystery Quest will travel to the back alleys of London to investigate. The team will examine new evidence that points to two surprising new suspects. One, an American doctor, Francis Tumbledon. And another, even more surprising, a woman named Mary Piercy. The team will test whether Piercy would have had the physical strength to commit the gruesome murders. You only need about 11 pounds on each side to start the blacking out scenario. And they'll compare handwriting from the male suspect against writing believed to be from the killer himself. They will test a theory about the killer's likely escape route. And they will build a psychological profile of the killer and match evidence from each suspect to the profile. <laughs> Theories about the identity of the Ripper have persisted for over a century. Suspects included everyone from Alice in Wonderland author Lewis Carroll to famed Impressionist painter Walter Sickert. Even more bizarre was the rumor the royal family was involved. Prince Albert Victor, grandson of Queen Victoria, was known to frequent the rundown neighborhood where the killings took place. Rumor had it, Albert fathered a child with a local girl, and the queen ordered all of the women who knew of the child silenced. <laughs> 